What's up everyone? Welcome to eCPU. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content. In this video, we are going to take an up close look at the Cooler Master ML360R all-in-one liquid CPU cooler to see if it's worth your hard-earned cash. Let's do this. All right, so first things first, when you unbox this thing, prepare yourself to be a little shocked at the sheer number of cables, accessories, and mounting hardware that come with it. I'm really not used to seeing this much stuff come with an AIO, but there'll be more on that later in the video when we talk about installation. The ML360R is a 360mm all-in-one liquid CPU cooling solution that supports pretty much every Intel and AMD socket from the last decade or so. The radiator is constructed of aluminum and is pretty light despite its 394 by 119 by 27 mm dimensions. The pump and water block feature a new low profile dual chamber design with a tri-phase motor, micro channel cold plate and high performance impeller. All of the pump equipment is housed under a reflective black plastic shroud and topped off with some customizable RGB lighting. The water block connects to the radiator with two flexible double tube hoses that are sleeved in black mesh which really adds to the overall premium look of this cooler. Heat dissipation is handled by the three included Master Fan MF120R ARGB fans that according to Cooler Master are designed specifically to maximize air pressure for use with radiators. All three fans are connected and controlled by PWM with a variable fan speed range of 650 to 2000 RPM. As far as installation goes, well, there were some things that I really liked and others that I didn't. For example, I really like how the fans connect to the radiator using thumb screws. This is something that I'm not used to seeing with a lot of AIOs, but I would definitely like to see more of in the future. What I don't like is the huge number of cables and connections required to get this thing installed and up and running. To get everything working properly, you have to connect the fan power cables to the motherboard, the fan ARGB cables to the included RGB controller, a USB cable from the controller to a free port on your motherboard, a SATA power cable to the controller, then you have to find a place to mount the damn controller somewhere in your hopefully not so cluttered PC if you have room for it. But at least someone put some thought into the mounting process for this controller because they actually made the back of it magnetic. So it makes it a little bit easier to find a location to stick it in your case where it's going to be easily accessible for you. But Cooler Master, please, for the love of God, Find a way to reduce or eliminate some of the cables and connections required to get this cooler installed. That would be much appreciated. Now thankfully, despite all the connections to make and wires to manage, the installation of this cooler is really not exactly rocket science, and I think everyone should be able to successfully install it just by glancing at the included instruction sheets. Now if you're a big fan of PC RGB lighting, prepare yourself for an impressive light show. The ML360R is capable of producing some very bright and vibrant colors, at least on the included RGB fans. For some reason, the lights on the water pump don't quite have the same light emitting capabilities as the fans. Nevertheless, it still puts on a pretty good show, but there's definitely a difference in brightness that is noticeable between the lights on the water block and the fans themselves mounted on the radiator. Despite this one minor drawback, the ML360R is still quite a top performer in my opinion when it comes to RGB lighting effects. Lighting effects, colors, and speeds of those lighting effects can all be controlled using the included RGB controller that you have to mount into your case somewhere. It turns out that using the controller is actually a pretty easy and quick way to change lighting effects provided you have it mounted in an accessible location inside your case otherwise you're screwed. Cooler Master states that the ML360R is fully compatible with Asus, ASRock, Gigabyte, and MSI RGB systems, but I couldn't seem to get it to work properly on my Asus Z390 ROG Strix motherboard for some reason. This is likely just a software issue which could probably be easily addressed in the near future by Cooler Master if they wish to do so. Cooler Master also offers their own free software utility that you can download from their website to control the lighting effects with the cooler, but I actually also had issues getting that to work or at least to be reliable. So my recommendation for the time being, if you pick up this cooler, just use the included controller to change your lighting effects for the time being until Cooler Master can kind of update their software systems and provide better compatibility. To test the cooling performance, I installed the ML360R in my Core i9-9900K system to see if it's up to the task of cooling this inferno of a CPU at stock settings and also overclocked to an all-core frequency of 5.1GHz. 
For these tests, I ran the water pump at 100% of its rated performance, and then just let the PWM system handle the fan speeds. These results show a very solid and promising performance, even when the 9900K is overclocked to a frequency of 5.1 GHz on all 8 cores and 16 threads. At a currently available price of about $150, US the ML360R is not the cheapest way to cool your CPU, but it definitely delivers in terms of performance and looks damn good at the same time. If it's within your budget and you have a need for this much cooling power, make sure you take a serious look at the ML360R. If you're ready to purchase this cooler or you're just looking for more information, make sure you click the links down in the description of this video. That's all for today. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.